Okay, let's get to the Morning X Top 5! All right, here we go, Fram. So, top five audio of the week. These are the most exciting, the most stupid, whatever you want to call it. Unpredictable, all that stuff. Uh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul will be fighting on Netflix. First time ever to have a live sporting event, I believe, on Netflix. Big age difference there, right? Big, 27 to 57. Yes. But I believe Mike Tyson will destroy this young man in my opinion but there are a lot of rules that aren't really surfacing when you're hearing this story that are going to apparently he's going to be able to wear headgear Jake Paul and I mean 57 (laughs) or not yeah and the glove size and there's going to be all kinds of rules about how long the rounds are I didn't know about all the stipulations I haven't seen them officially published I'm hearing people talking about them but number five this week is when Mike Tyson was on a podcast, this was a couple of years ago, talking about if he were to fight Jake Paul, and it's oh. Mike being Mike. Could you f*** him up? Oh, I'm so f***ing easy. You think? Yeah, but I would, love, I would never, I would never. <laughs> I mean, it's my own family. Everybody loves this little white motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, wait, wait, wait. He got wait, balls. Wait. He got the f***ing balls. When you see a white boy with balls, you know, f- I'm talking about from real, but like, f- you yeah, but you would yo, but time out. Would you wait? Wait, would you pop? Would you knock him out? Huh? How fast would you know? Would it be like Tyson when you were 19, 19 seconds? Yeah, but nah, man, he's just, let him have his f-ing reign, man. Let him have. His yeah, but what time. if he stepped up and he's like, "Yo, Tyson, you fucking f-ing, let's go." And nah, he's not gonna say that. He'd be like, maybe man, that's one fight you. Dana would get behind. That. Yo, Tyson yeah. versus that Jake might Paul be the would way. be the best fight f-ing ever. Jake Paul's the only white boy I know that the white boys hate. Why everybody don't like him, man? He is going to that is all over the place. Destroy, dude. And I told you before, I met Tyson, and his hand, I shook his hand, is like a cinder block. I mean, it is the most, it's insane. Now, are the odds going for Tyson on this? Oh, yeah. Okay, just just asking. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. All right, number four. Lenny Kravitz got a Walk of Fame star in Hollywood, and his daughter got up to do the speech. Careful who you put up there when you go to inside in the family. This is so funny. You never know where it's going to go. Zoe Kravitz uh, speaking at her dad's ceremony, Lenny getting his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I've seen the way you show up and take care of the people you love. I've seen your incredible dedication to your art, but mostly I've seen through your shirts. According to my dad, if it doesn't expose your nipples, it's not a shirt. You used to embarrass me when you'd pick me up from school as a kid, but I gotta say at this point, I respect it. You really do pull it off. Your relationship with the netted shirt is probably your longest one, and it works. So funny. It sounded like a monologue from Saturday Night Live. It totally did. She was ready. I wonder if he knew that roasting was coming. He had to have. Maybe not. Dad, are you okay if I talk about this? Depends when you catch him. He might just be, yeah, whatever, whatever. (laughs) Okay, number three is from the Oscars and all the controversy about Al Pacino fumbling through. And at the time, everyone, including you and Jimmy, thought this was on him. We were wrong. He's saying during the night, they just played all the best picture clips along the way throughout the show. It just made it sound anticlimactic to me. It did, and here's, here's what happened. Ten wonderful films uh, were nominated, but only one will take the award for Best Picture. And uh, I have to go to the envelope for that, and I will. Here it comes. <laughs> And Maria is the Oppenheimer. Yes. I think in reality, he thought, okay, this is what you want me to do. Mm-hmm. Maybe if he said, and the winner is. I know, that part was, was kind of missing. It was just a little abrupt, yeah. It was abrupt, but he, man, he quickly stepped out and said, no, the <laughs> producers me. had me do that. Okay, it was very close for two and one this week. Number two is this Keith Morrison audio that, that surfaced today. 
Oh, yes. Just Very the sad. Co- combination of his so recognizable cadence and tone with such a matter of fact thing to say. Talking about his stepson, Matthew Perry. About Matthew Perry on Hoda Kotb's uh, podcast. As he said himself, if, if I suddenly died, people would be shocked, but not too many people would be surprised. And he was right, I think. Did it surprise you? It was the news you never want to get, but you think someday you might. Sad. It's and really sad. And, you know, he went on to say he thought that, you know, Matthew was in a good place. And he wasn't. It's just so wild how just he came right out with it. Like, you're like, no, did he really say that? Yeah. Okay. And number one, man, there is a Hollywood feud a brewing right now. And I can't wait to see more bubble up in this Sharon Stone, Billy Baldwin situation. She went for it. Went for it. And there's a podcast out there, and the guy's name, it's hard. It look. It doesn't sound like it looks on paper. It's Louis Theroux, I believe is how you say his name. Mm-hmm. It looks like Theroux. But Sharon Stone is on Seek It Out because she talks about a whole lot of people during filming of shows and such and movies, whatever. But this is her talking about Billy Baldwin with Robert Evans, who died in 2019, she was he was the movie boss that he was having a conversation with her in his office while they were filming Sliver. And he was saying you should sleep with Billy Baldwin. It might make for better chemistry. Dude. And he's running around his office in his sunglasses, explaining to me that he slept with Ava Gardner and I should sleep with Billy Baldwin. Because if I slept with Billy Baldwin, Billy Baldwin's performance would get better. And we needed Billy to get better in the movie because that was the problem. And if I could sleep with Billy, then we would have chemistry on screen. And if I would just have sex with him, then that would save the movie. And the real problem in the movie was me because I was so uptight and so not like a real actress who could just him and get things back on track. And the real problem was that I was such a tight ass. And, you know, I'm just sitting there watching the malted milk balls roll all over the floor, thinking about how he wouldn't listen to the list of actors that I suggested for the part and why, you know, they expect me to go from Michael Douglas to Billy Baldwin. And, you know, I didn't have to Michael Douglas. Michael could come to work and just know how to, like, hit those marks and do that line and rehearse and show up and. Now, all of a sudden, I'm in the I have to f- people business. I mean, she laid it out, no pun intended, and Baldwin came firing missiles. Yeah, Baldwin came back and said, uh, not sure why Sharon Stone keeps talking about me all these years later. Does she still have a crush on me or is she still hurt after all these years because yeah. I shunned her advances? What? I don't know if I believe that. That's not over. <laughs> I don't know what the better fight is. Paul versus Tyson. Jake Paul Tyson or, or these or Billy Sharon Baldwin Stone and Billy Baldwin yeah and Sharon Stone. I mean, she was at the massive height of her career during all of that. And the thing about the malted milk balls, by the way, it's out of left field. Prior to that, she was talking about he was walking around with one of those big like jugs of them and it was open but it was kind of sideways and so they were falling out as he walked around the room. I was wondering what if that was like some term I didn't know about. <laughs> right. <laughs> she had mentioned it way before that that he was like walking around nervously with this big malted milk ball case. Sharon Stone spilling tea. Yeah, there's your top five of the week.